NBC5 News at 6 starts now. The Federal Air Tanker Base in Bedford is ready to go to work on this season's wildfires. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC5 News at 6. I'm Kristen Hosfeld. And I'm Devin Gooden in for Craig Smolin tonight. Officials say operations are in full swing and they're ready to respond to wildfires if and when they spark. That's our top story tonight at 6. NBC5's Ray Van Varnes brings us a look at what they do every year to protect your home and our forests. The air tanker base here in Medford is fully staffed as crews say they're ready to provide fast, safe and efficient responses when calls come in. This is just one tool in the many toolboxes that wildland firefighters use uh, to help support, suppress and uh, exterminate the fires. Assistant tanker base manager Benjamin Crittenden says last fire season was a busy one. All in all, we did it over a million and a half gallons last year combined. The U.S. Forest Service runs the base with services not just our region, but much of the West Coast. Uh, what we have are four tanks, one tank of them being water at 10,000 gallons, and a 10, a 12, and an 11 gallon for uh, retardant. The air tanker base in Medford is the only very large air tanker base, or VLAT, in southern Oregon that can host planes needed to combat wildfires. While we do throw a lot of retardant on the ground, and that retardant, as is implied, uh, is designed to slow the rate of fire and not necessarily put it out, it's more importantly us supporting the guys on the ground to give them time to get to the areas they need to get to. Just this week, the Medford base assisted with the Lumgree fire in Siskiyou County. We were able to support them because we were the closest tanker base to the area. We took on CAL FIRE aircraft as well as Forest Service contracted aircraft. Uh, we did about 10 loads, around 16,818 gallons in one day. Crittenden says 14 aircraft are shared across the country. About 10 of them were used last year to put out fires locally. And while we've yet to see a major fire spark around the region, Crittenden says they're trained and ready to respond if and when a fire starts. As soon as the base opens up, the expectation for us and for everyone here with the forest and our cooperatives would that we be able to take on as every aircraft we can take on that's on contract. In Medford, Ray Van Vars, NBC5 News.